Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to De Royer and Boots's Beetle Racer of Agansa tournament. What up? With me, I have obviously Mr. Boots. Say hi, Boots. Hello, Boots. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna be setting up uh, for this uh, massive tournament. We've got quite a few uh, quite a few contestants already. We even have a celebrity here with us, guys. We have Mike C, the game what? director himself. What up for Guild Wars 2? Joining us today. It's all good fun. We've got a crazy, crazy setup. I'm gonna go through the rules, so uh, take your time. Don't worry. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be starting within the next uh, two, two minutes. We're gonna, we're gonna go through it all, real quick. Uh, we're gonna double check that everyone's here. We're, we're giving people uh, some ample time to, to get in because there's still, uh, I think, one or two people missing. Um, we, have, we have 40 people racing in this squad right now, and that's oof. kind of insane. We have 43 signed up, so we're just a, a, a few a few, a few short here. So we're giving people just a, a, little, a little extra. Um, yes, but basically, guys, uh, what's going to be happening is we're just going to be racing all day. All day, or at least for the next hour or so. The, uh, the rules are pretty simple. We have got 15 races. We have got five different race courses and each of these race courses will be uh run three times to a total of 15. yeah not in a row individually exactly so every lap is a race in itself that's how it works and by for every lap uh all players will be awarded points because how we do this is that everyone the entire squad will be racing every time Every all fifteen races, boots. That's crazy, isn't it? It's gonna be a bit of a cluster or something. We've got a. It's gonna be a little crazy. But don't worry, guys. We've got a pretty, pretty solid setup here. All right. Don't don't even worry about it. We've got both the overhead view. We're gonna be seeing uh, all racers, um, basically running it uh, at all times uh, in the map. Uh, I'll be yeah, following I, everyone around. And yes, we've got. Yes, boots. and I am going to be oh, racing oh. with them. I am not going to be trying to win because I'm going to be try I'm going to leave a little bit later than everybody and try to follow all the action and see everybody drop off and fall off the map. And uh, and hopefully we'll be able to catch all the action at the same time that way. Uh, just a second here, guys. Allow, uh, there we go. I'm just gonna real quick, uh, guys. Don't don't invite your your friends right now because I I can't keep keep track of them then. Is there a way to remove all permissions from other people? Yeah, I just did. Place? I just, I just kind of forgot about that. I uh, so give us a give us a few minutes, anyways, after we've explained everything to uh, to get it uh, to get it checked with uh, with everything being being here. Um, but yes, we've got a pretty pretty exciting setup here all around. Mm -hmm. And we got some fantastic prizes. We got a ton of gems. I think some mount uh, mount licenses as well to give away. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So uh, first place and second place will both get the same thing. Uh, a lot of gems and some mount things. Sixteen hundred uh, gems. Whoa. Okay. Each the first and second place, so to speak, which is the shared first place. That's sixteen hundred gems and and a selectable uh, mount. Um, selectable mount license. Yes, it's the value of 1200 gems entirely. So you can select any mount you want, guys. Any mount. Sponsored by ArenaNet, by the way. Sponsored by ArenaNet. Yeah, and, the, and just by being here, all of these racers apparently, if they just sign up on a newsletter, have a chance of winning a brand new car. A <laughs> brand new a car, indeed. Um, <laughs> We and also, the, the, uh, the second place is 800 gems, or this, uh, that is not the second place actually, that is the third and fourth place, and uh, will be 800 gems each, and the fifth and sixth place will be winning 400 gems each. So we've got quite a few, quite a few gems to give away here, guys. We've got quite a few gems to give away here. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, real quickly run through the names on the list here. Boots, if you want to take it away with entertaining the people for a second here, I'm just going to sure. go through real quick. Sure. So the first map we're going to be starting with is the uh, Jormag's Fang, I believe it's called, racing, which is in Snowden Drifts, which, in my opinion, the race should have just been called Snowden Drifts because 
you know. Uh, and it's a very short race. It, it'll very quickly separate the people who have practiced these races and the people who haven't practiced these races. It's, uh, so we're going to be able to see uh, very quickly uh, who is a real contender in this, in this tournament and who maybe is just a pretender. Um, now, it, but, so but each... don't don't get discouraged, guys. Don't get discouraged because you'll very there's, there's you'll... four other maps. Yes, exactly. If you are great at another map, uh, you can you can easily catch up with others because everyone everyone else. The way that the point system works here, by the way, we kind of forgot we kind of glanced over that. But the way that the point system works is that the first, second, and third to finish a lap, the first will get uh, will get the highest points, so to speak. First will get six points. Second will get five points, and third will get four points. And everyone else that finishes within the time limit will will be awarded one point. So the discrepancy between who's in the front and who's uh, who might be be slacking a, a little bit behind on some of the races might not be as uh, as crazy as you think. Might not be as yeah. crazy as you think. Yeah, and it's it's all about consistency with this because. Because uh, if you're, you know, if you had number one EU time, you might hit a route and you might be screwed for that race. So, so it's all, uh, it's all about just making sure it, it. The difference between greeting for speed and actually just trying to do the race properly, I think. Uh, so we'll see how this works out. How it all shakes out in the end. Indeed. Uh, I'm doing all my talking now because while I'm racing, it's going to be very hard for me to talk. Yeah. <laughs> That is true. Boots is going to be on the floor with you guys, so he's going to be pretty occupied also trying to keep up with uh, all of you guys speeding through everything. So it's going to be it's going to be a little bit rough for him. Yeah, and I've got my uh, my field of view set to max and it's it feels like I'm on an airplane looking down at my hey, wheel hey, right hey. now. It's going to be kind of hard to control. It's going to be great. I believe in you. Guys, if you didn't know, in case you didn't know, Boots is like one of the best, best beetle uh, racers in the entire game. Which is why his expertise is so great right now for, uh, for, uh, for the POV. Pre-recorded? No, don't worry, it's not pre-recorded. All off the map and everybody laughs at me. Well, yeah, that is also a, uh, a potential. Yeah. Uh... There's a few people that got into the squad here that I didn't really have on check here, but I do believe, I do believe we have got most uh, sorted now. Uh, let me just double check the last few. Yeah, we good. Oh, there's another one that slipped through the cracks. Boom. That is a total of 45 people signed up. There's still a few people uh, missing, but I do believe we are going to have to, to close it within within the next two minutes. So if you are, if you're still watching, you're still watching and you're running to your screen, run faster. Let's go. And it's not a big deal. Again, one race is not the end of the world. So if you come here late and you, you come here only for the 14, 14 other races, you might still win. Yeah, true. True. All right. Let me get this over there. I've got a pretty crazy setup here with like four screens showing all the different things here so I can keep track of everyone. <laughs> oh, someone uh, wrote in in the chat their their screen name and they said they're not in the squad yet but they signed up on YouTube. You signed up. Oh, okay, it might be that you signed up a little late or I will send you an invite immediately because we've still got we've still got Space so there is no issue that might as well just have been me being an absolute Great moderator um, <laughs> That's the word I was going for um, You should get an invite you should have an invite there we go uh, bottom bomb. We'll be starting pretty soon, so everyone come to the flag and stay behind it. Um, I'm just 
poking the guy who just uh, tried to join here. How is everybody out there today? Everyone's hopefully doing good. Oh, there we go. Hell Nirvana. That is just me. My bad, uh, Nirvana. Okay. My bad. My bad. You're in. We should be good to go now then. Yes, just give me a second because I've, I've got a one pending request here. Just a second. Um, I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna switch over to my uh, screen view though. All right, let's switch. Let's switch it up here, guys. Let's switch it up. Look at that little little cute beetle window. But here we go. This is this is where the this is where the money's at. Boom. We've got yeah. dual view, guys. Dual view. We've got so, me at the finish line, watching watching everything happen, and then we've got a boots on the uh, on the right side of the screen here. In the mass of blue names. Exactly. Let me turn on some of the. I'll join. All right. This is gonna be great. I so so a couple of things for the racers. If you're listening in uh, in the stream, number one, probably a smart move to start off is to start your time trial now. You have ten minutes for your th time trial, so just restart it if you need to. Uh, if we don't start in the next seven minutes or ten minutes, um, but it's good to do that now because I know when you're trying to do your time trials, you're trying to go fast and beat your previous time. You like start it on a roll. You don't have to do that here. We're not starting with rolls. You're gonna only start when we say go. So might as well start the time trial now. If a lot of time, you'll have the bu bubbles active no matter what. Uh, also, number two, yes, yeah. yeah the bu the bubbles are the most important thing. You you want to be able to see this uh, see the the race course just start it and and be ready. Um, yeah. And the entire chat is going to be looking at the people in front of me, making sure that they go actually on the racetrack, follow those bubbles as well. So try not to cheat because <laughs> it's not a good idea. Uh, Don't worry. We will be watching the entire time. Don't worry, yeah. guys. I will be watching the entire time. Um, and uh, also, since there are 50 people all leaving at the same time, uh, there will be an issue probably for some of you with frame drops. Uh, I know that's happened to me previously. I had to reduce my uh, my quality down to best performance uh, in order to avoid those flame frame drops. Uh, maybe not for, for you guys, maybe not for me, but for you guys, you should uh, lower your model, uh, the amount of people with the model um, in your options here. I can go show you here. You go to uh, where was it? Graphics options, character model limit lowest. I have that on too. Um, that way, your frames might drop as much. Uh, it's it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be pretty intense. I just have a little graphical uh, thing to to fix that I accidentally broke. Give me a second here. <laughs> uh oh. It's all right. It's yeah. not a. It's not a major thing. Only the entire map layout. It's all good. Yeah. So, uh, is there anything I could tell you guys about this race in particular before we go? Yeah, yeah. Um, number one, I would say, is uh, the first hill. Uh, you could gain a lot of time by doing a little something with your boost. I'm not gonna say what that is. Hopefully, people already know what it is. Um, but. But uh, yeah, you can save a lot of time by doing something with that boost after, after you get that orb on that bridge. Um, hopefully not too many people get caught up on this tree over here. That is an issue too. Uh, but other than that, I think the race is a lot of just making sure you don't bump into things in this case, especially on that last drift. You guys will all see it. Basically that, basically that. Right, the uh, the signups are unfortunately we're, okay. We're closing it now, guys, which means we will be starting in just a second. I'm just gonna do a full ready check. This is for the first of three laps on the Snowden Drifts. Very appropriate name for the for the occasion. The Snowden Drifts uh, racetrack course. The first race of the day for the Beetle. Race Travaganza Tournament. Get your engines, I was about to say. Get your beetles ready. Um, behind the line, boom, there we are. Yeah, so we're all behind the line. You're, you're checking that good, very nice. Uh, and yeah, I guess everybody's ready. 
Yeah, when uh, when the when the squad is ready up, we've got two people uh, just waiting to, to ready up here, and then we will be doing a squad countdown. And on go, and the go has to appear on your screen. That's when you go. Otherwise, you will be disqualified if you go too early. You can go late if you want to, if that's your thing. But that is true. Know. I mean, sure. Don't go early. Just don't go too early. Mm -hmm. Carp, we've got, I want to extend a big thank you, by the way, ahead of time uh, to my fantastic moderator, Cartman, for helping out, watching people, watching here on the uh, on the finish and start line with me that are, nobody is cheating or doing anything bad and watching who actually wins. Um, Soja Noob, all right. Okay. Watch for the squad message. We're gonna do a three, two, one, go, and when it says go, you go. Not before. All right. Here we go. First race. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, squad of two appeared. One appeared. Boom. Go is live. Okay. Oh, for me, a lot of people went before go. <laughs> they went for go in the chat, not Ooh. for go in the. Uh... Well, you gotta, you gotta. We should probably actually do that. Is that should uh, that should probably act as a great test there for us. Yeah. Okay, we got Mike Z way off the course. I don't. We have got. I don't know what happened oof. with Mike Z there, and I'm right I'm here not in the front. Very well either. In the front, we've got Vivian. Actually, this like... is a yes. Every single person went before. That's kind of the thing. Let's do this. Uh, let's. All right, that was a test run. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> was sorry. A test run, everybody. <laughs> Good uh, test. Holy crap! All right, so let's flesh this out real quick, real quick. Oh my god! Don't That's wait! Crazy. Don't wait for the uh, don't wait for the uh, thing to show in the middle of the screen. Go by the yeah. chat. Go by chat. Activate your chat. So don't wait. wait for it to go in the screen. Yes, because if I have to wait for the screen, uh, they're they're all, uh, constantly overlapping each other. Uh, so okay. go go for the chat. The chat is what matters here. Okay. All right. Behind the line, boys. Doink. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, my uh, my bubbles disappeared. Your bubbles. <laughs> okay. Activate your event again, and then we will be going in just a second, guys. Let's do a quick yeah. ready, ready check. Let's try to make these as speedy as possible. I know you all are speedy racers, but can we also be speedy clickers? Time will tell. Back down to best performance because it got a little choppy. That is probably yes. Taking down your graphic settings is probably a very uh, smart move. Yeah. I, I really liked... Oops, here we go. Man. Boom, okay, here we go. Chat. In chat, guys. Watch the chat. Three. Two. two. One. one. Go. Go. All right, that was a good start, everybody. We had one guy go really fast off the start there. I, I saw it. I saw it. Right. We're following here in the front. Let's get that overlay just right. This is... This is great, just watching all the cars going We've around. got Sebastian Vettel in the very, very front with Garfried and Elise. Just, oof, we've got a pretty, pretty big clump here in the front. Sebastian coming in hot in the first place. Right there, boom, crossing the finish line. Wow. Holy shit, so many, so many people right, right after wow. each other. This is crazy. This, this is, is crazy. Hard to determine who came first, second, and third, I gotta say, everybody it is. was doing really well. There was no, I, I did not see a, a loose, or a, a uh, uh, what's it called, a somebody who wasn't very good. Everybody was in the same boat there. No, no way you can see it's first, second, and third. We're uh, we're waiting for moderators here. I saw Mister that is Das Banan, Banana, I believe it is. Getting first place, that is six points. <laughs> six points, easy. I'm waiting for moderator Cartman here to to fill me in. Moderator Cartman is currently pulling his hair out. Debatrex was second. Here we go with five points. Oh, and wow. we've got a couldn't tell third. Whew. 
All right, I have a feeling. I have a feeling this one is going to be a, be a little bit, a little bit messy there. All right. Yeah. So definitely what, this race in particular. Yes. Having it be only thirty seconds long. This can be done you know? pretty, pretty fucking quickly. So what we're gonna do here, uh, making the executive decision, we're not gonna re-roll this one. Obviously, we're not gonna replay it. Uh, instead of the baseline one points for everyone, we're gonna do two points for for everyone finishing after uh, after second. This race in particular. Yes, yeah. on on this this particular lap. Um, yeah. Potentially for the other two, but that's exactly uh, that's exactly how we're doing it right now. First and second still get six and five points to reward their slightly better beetleness than everybody else. Uh, and oh. We got a race starting. We're gonna let that pass before doing our next uh, run. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, Luckily, uh, this map will be done relatively soon, and we will be moving on to a longer race where there will be a lot more spread out times. Exactly. That's that's. Those are the races that are gonna be most interesting. All right. We're doing. I'm just letting uh, Mr. Cartman here, my my fantastic moderator. Uh, sort the points real quick, giving him a second to to catch up before doing the ready check here. Behind the lo uh, the the loins, <laughs> the line, lads and ladies. Mm -hmm. So how did it look on stream, everybody? I I only see my own uh, view, and I thought it looked pretty cool, seeing everybody in front of me like that. Yeah, it looked amazing, actually, in my opinion. Um, I've got a bit of a an issue here with the map, right? I don't know why my map overlay right now is being so tricky for me. There we go. Right. All right. I got it. I got the setting. Um. All right. I think Cartman is all caught up. Let's do a ready check for lap two. Lap two. Oh, uh, Lexotic and Demo Rose both say, do you need more help on the track? And I say, that's yes. probably a good idea. If you could come in. Demo Rose and Lexotic, yes, that would be amazing, actually. Yeah, uh, we got a couple more. Um, we got a couple more spaces in the squad, so we can invite them now. And we'll have a couple of extra sets of eyes for the finish line. Would be great. Uh, like Wait, like if you can uh, if you can poke me in a message, that would be amazing. He is booting up the game, or she is booting up the game. All right, thank you. We're just giving it the thirty seconds here, guys. Grab a uh, grab a, a drink real quick or something, and then we will be ready for race two. Thank you so much, guys, for helping out. That is a extremely appreciated, by the way. Extremely appreciated. And yeah, so I'd say one more on finish line and one more on the starting line. Yes. We're. Uh, I'm gonna well, pop them into the uh, to the mod team. To yes. Da, da, Bo da, da, Boots da, da, just da, da. casually gonna show off how it's done. Easy peasy. So sometimes you go to the right of this thing, you want to go up high on this hill. I like to go to the left of this tree because there's a wide berth for that uh, for that uh, bubble there. Ooh, and I ooh, just completely ooh, ooh. messed up there. So nobody much for showing everyone how to do it. Hey, hey, no, nobody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I said this earlier, but in case you didn't know, Boots uh, is one of the absolute best racers uh, currently. The more you say that, on the NA. more I will mess up. Yeah, that's exactly the point here. I need I need you to not outshine uh, everyone in the contest here. That's uh, that's gonna be oof. It's we don't we, we don't want all the racers to, to feel bad about uh, having a professional racer amongst them. Yeah. So something that all of these racers probably have already learned, maybe not in the chat though, maybe not the people in the chat, but probably every racer who's in this competition knows, drifting is great, but drifting actually uh, slows down your beat a little bit, and in some cases where it looks like you might need to drift a turn. It's actually faster to just turn the turn without drifting, and you'll leave that turn with more speed than if you had drifted. So, like, in special cases, like, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, 
over on the turn over here. After, right, this turn here. So this turn looks like you should drift it, but it's actually better to just turn it. Uh, obviously, you shouldn't hit that rock, but that's what you should be doing. And also, this race is very interesting in that after that initial um, hill, everything is downhill. So you don't need to boost after that hill until you get to that bridge area. All right, boots. Let's yep. go. The mo the moderating team is ready. Let's do a quick ready check here because we took so long. This is for the second lap. Guys, we've got a cool feature, all right? The top players will be marked. You will know who you are racing against. That means Das Banan and Debatrex right now have a mark of, uh, above their head. You will know exactly who's in the front. And we'll do that for every race right now. Oh, they do. You can't see it because uh, everyone's kind of kind of clumped of together right of, now. A couple of marks there, yeah. Yeah. All right, we are ready. Chat, by the way, don't don't rest the race just yet. Start up your thing and then look at chat. It's gonna be in chat, and you go on go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. Nice, smooth start there. Getting everyone out quickly. Let's zoom in here so we can get the pretty view. Right here in the front, we've got Asura, Asuka. And in the lead, easy, Debatrex taking the lead, but oh, Das Banan way in the back, way, way in the back. Getting a little bit punished there early on. I think he hit a tree or something. Uh -oh. Elise coming across the finish line here. Oh, 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 we've got clear, Debatrex. And, and I think it was Elise and then Vivian. Let's. Uh, we need a bit of a moderating help here. No orbs, no orbs. Oh, rip the event. That is a, that is a bit of an unfortunate... Uh, oof, feels bad, man. That's an, a bit of an unfortunate uh, mistake that we probably need to, to look out for. Um, Not to let the event end yes. when you are racing. The, the event, uh, the actual race event, if it ends while the race is running, the, uh, the orbs will go down or like they, they'll disappear unfortunately mm. so I, if that happens I while the, the race is i wonder how that happened by the way in chat rt sangi says that it is actually slightly better to drift there and boost right afterwards uh it's possible because if you have an extra boost to use since you don't since you don't boost that much at all in this race and you have your Bond of Vigor available, if you can boost out of a quick turn like that, it could be faster than just a turn. As long as you don't need the boost for anything else. Yes. All right, I'm just uh, checking who was first, second, and third here. I'm, I'm seeing names, but I, or I'm hearing names, but not the placement. Oh, there we go. Okay, Vivian was first, at least second, uh, it's hard to determine Once the second again, and third place. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we get. That's what we get. Uh, I think we're yes. gonna have to do the two points again. I, you know what? I feel like this is the this is gonna be this race. Two points for everybody else. Yes, I feel like the sec uh, the third place is a two pointer for everyone else uh, for the entire thing. You're right. You are right. So let's get Vivian. Oh, I have to find the actual uh, Cartman I hope you are helping out here Elise there we go postman uh, postman getting there we go so do we have a change of first place now or second place uh, we might we might but I feel like uh, this race is a little bit too fast to uh, to be I know, for me to fix I'm, it I'm all. I'm looking forward to a longer race, frankly. <laughs> yeah, 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 agreed. Vivian there, Ilo. Ilo, perfect. Thank you, Cartman, so much. Thank you for helping out here. That's super appreciated. I gotta say, though, I am really impressed with all the racers so far. The fact that it is so close between so many people. It is indeed uh, so fast. 
It's so fast, and everyone's everyone's just up to par. Everyone's doing their job. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we should be settled for the third and final Snowden Drift race. Uh, let's get that up and running. There we go. The final of the super short, super amazing, and probably actually my favorite uh, race of them all. The Snowden Drift here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do, let's get ready for the third race. Boom. Okay, starting up my thing. We got Demo Rose and Cartman at the finish line. We got Lexo Tick here at the start line. Uh, and Sunless the Reaper off on the side. Is Sunless the Reaper a mod for this? Uh, yeah, well, no. He's just All race. Right. He's getting points for standing still. There we go. Points. Perfect. Easy. All right, squad's ready. Look at the chat, guys. We're going to be going on go. So. That is three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. That's a good clean start again. Coming up here, I like to boost late coming up this hill. It's honestly really hard to see where any obstacles are <laughs> with all of these people here. That is actually, that's part of the fun in my opinion. Fable, they're taking the easy lead right in, ooh, T overtaking everyone in the front here. Asuaka, ooh, oh, no, 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 everyone getting punished right there at the end. And we've got, in the front, we have got Master Feobold, I believe, was first place there. Nice I one. I say, I was impressed with our friend from ArenaNet there. He was right with the pack the entire time. Ooh, ooh. Yes, guys, for anyone joining in a little bit, uh, a little bit late here. Oh, you say Sebastian, but that's Banan. I'm I'm only looking at the map. In that case, uh, I'm I'm trusting my mods. They've got the eyes on the ground. I'm I've got the map here. And last but not least, in the last race on this thing, no way to tell second, third again, and uh, that is second the and third. Wait, I'm pretty sure I'm second and third. I am pretty okay. sure there was a. It, it must have been because Das Banan and uh, and what's it called? Um, He's saying Seb was second. Seb. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's that's Banan, right? Sebastian, yeah. I believe. So do we have a third place then? No, third is uh oh. He okay, here we go. Mr. Sebastian Das Banan saying he was third. Yes. You know what? I Definitely think not second. Give, we should just give Sebastian Vidal both uh, the a prize just for his name and for his sportsmanship. Sebastian Vidal. <laughs> well, the pri the prize can be that uh wait, okay, we've got the are we gonna have to re-roll this? Cause I feel like, oh, everyone's claiming uh, their. Uh, uh, wait, like I'm trusting my mods here, guys. Not that, not that, uh, that I don't wanna. Uh, what's it called? So he's red. Is Seb red? I think what we got is we must have gotten. Cause as far as I saw it, it was. Um, I'm forgetting his name now, which is why I'm stumbling. Who was I saying? Master. Master or something. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad. There's so many names here. You know what you need? A uh, better memory? You need instant replay. Yeah, I do. I do. I do, actually. Yeah. Wait, was it? There, Feobolt. I'm pretty sure I saw Feobolt in the, in, in the lead there as well. So I'm actually going to say, well, if you... If my moderators are saying that... First place... Well, there's no way. Well, oh my god, this, okay. Dryer. Yes. Can you Dryer. screenshot the, yes, what? What? Do it. Are we doing, gonna re-roll it, is that what you're saying? No, I think, okay, so we have first place, right? Yes. Second and third are between two people? Yeah, exactly. Split the points. All right, Just give, doing them, it. give them both four points and everybody else two. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we've got in the front, that's Feobolt, taking six points. 
And then we've got, um, that is Sebastian Weedel and, uh, wait, hold up. The name here, uh, Rose, boom. Rose and Sebastian Weedle are splitting four points. There we go. That's how we're doing it. Perfect. All right, so fast. now we are moving on to a race that will have a lot less complications, I believe. Uh, are we going to Diesa Plateau? Yes. Aren't okay. we? I believe we are. Yes, exactly. The second race is Diesa Plateau. Boom. To Diesa Plateau, everyone. I'm gonna get out of combat. All right, that was a bit of a that was a good that was a good race to start on because it was the most uh, there was the most clusterfucky one. Yeah, frankly, we trust me for a not a messed up one. Probably, but, but now it's it's kind of out of the way. All right, it's kind of out of the way. Exactly, Boom. exactly. And so a, now all the people who hate the way this has been working out have left chat, and we can we can just give it to the true the true drifting, uh, get true drifting fans here. Exactly. Trust me, though, guys. For anyone watching, uh, it's not going to be anywhere near as chaotic from here on out, because um, we will. There we go. I'm just going to spam that. Um, it's going to be. It's going to be a lot more uh, easy to, to watch now, because we've had. We've got. A, we're going to have some longer races. There's going to be some more fun, like running around uh, the entire track. It's going to be. It's going to be much better. All right. People are having a nice view of me slowly running away from a bunch of alkaline skeletons to try to get out of combat. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let my. Oh wait, I have... okay, I killed them. Fine. All right, all right. Mike there C, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for for coming. That was super appreciated. Joining in the fun. Mm -hmm. The finish line, boom, is actually gonna be much easier because I believe. Let me turn on my cheats here for a second. I've got a, I've got a little bit of a, a cheat. It's called a taco. Uh, there we are. Oh well, <laughs> rip. There we are. Here is. It was nice knowing you, Dwyer. Yes, thank thanks to Mr. Tekkit for having uh, made this uh, taco pack for me to to use for this event. Uh, we've got the finish line right where I am, right here. That is the actual finish line. Boom. It's gonna be very easy for for our moderators. Much more easy for uh, um, our moderators to see that, because um, we're not gonna have everyone clumped together. We've got the start running from over here. Boom! Easy cheats. All right. Okay, so this race is very different from the previous race. The average times around this one is like a minute 30, so three times longer, essentially. Um, oh, we got the race going on. Anyway, so uh, so this the start of this race is kind of interesting in that they give you a boost right away, uh, and it's kind of weird to figure out where to use that boost because it's all downhill for the first little while in this race and it's hard to tell if you really need to use your boost at all in that case. Boots, you're in the uh, wrong map by the way. Is this not the Plateau? You're in the wrong, uh, you're in the other map, oh, the okay, server okay, 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 okay. from everyone else. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering why there's no other blue names. All right. So let me let me get this all set up with the markers real quick. Where have we got Sebastian Daspanan? Wait, let me. Uh, there we go. Daspanan gets the is currently in the first place in the front with twelve points. With twelve points, and we've got twelve points. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? That's insane, yeah. And we have got uh, where is Feyabolt? I'm I'm gonna show you all the uh, player points here. Boom, boom. On the screen, you can all see the player points currently. We've got Daspanan with twelve points. We've got Feyabolt uh, with ten. We've got lots of people with four points, but that's that's because of the uh, we're quite lenient here in terms of uh, coming after the first and second point. 
We've got yeah. Ilo with eight, and Callium with eight, both tying for that for that uh, fourth and fifth place. So let me get everyone marked up uh, real quick so you guys can follow along on the track. Uh, Ilo is... Uh, by the way, we're gonna be doing this in between every uh, every map, not every race, all right? That's both for uh, everyone watching as well as for Cartman, because uh, uh, I feel like he's really, he's doing a fantastic job trying to keep up with everything here. Um, and let me get, there we are. All right. First, second, third and fourth, all marked. All marked. Let's do a ready check. We're Endermen. Ooh. Enderman, we we got join the right map, please. We've got one guy uh, in the black <laughs> citadel. He kind of went to oh. the wrong uh, wrong place. Well, he's uh, he's doing his dailies, uh, so <laughs> I think we could probably go without him. Really? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, he's oh. running. Oh, that's why so he's this got is his first time doing this. Two thousand four hundred. We oof. What up? Wow. I like that. I like that a lot, man. Enderman. I like the your hubris. persistence. Yeah. Let's see him win it. I want him to win it. I want him to win it too, cause that that's fun. He's running. All right, he's running. So we'll we'll give him just a second here. We'll give him just a second. This is uh. He's now in the Esa Plateau, but he is on the wrong map, so he's gonna have to. Uh, Chat saying that this is uh, this is Boots all the count the world of yeah. Enders Enderman he is just hiding hiding in the crowd here. Yeah, I mean I have to win this somehow, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me. Oh, sorry, we're not be right back. That was a that was a <laughs> that was a momentary blip on the screen there. My bad. All right, while he does that, I am going to really quickly adjust the. Uh, the layout here for everything showing on the screen. Let's see how fast I can do it running. The hubris, apropos. <laughs> well, that's interesting. You can't get the uh, the orbs if you're not on your mount. That is indeed that is indeed interesting. All right, let me map name. There we go. We are switching to Diasa. Diasa. All right, Enderman. I see him running. I see him coming. There we go. Let's do the ready check. Enderman. What a god. What a beast, man. Mm -hmm. Really fighting for it. New player joining in the scene. Everyone, everyone here is allowed to join. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of people on the finish line now checking for things. Uh, this is good. One person at the race start, and we are readying up. Are, is everybody ready? No, we got one missing. We got one missing? All right. That's all Alien good. Time. Sir Deck Von Pepper. Now that's an account name right there. He, he can't ready up. All right, we're okay. canceling. That means we are ready. Get we are ready, everybody. Get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, letting everybody and go. And the racers ready. are off. Oof, oof. The That's not a good start. speed. My goodness, it's it's beautiful watching. Like it's like a giant slug. It's like a giant slug, he says. You're right, yeah, because, though. I know, and I'm at kind of at a disadvantage here because because of all of these names, all of these other players definitely should not have the player names on. I just realized because it's <laughs> impossible to see any. You um, can't tell any apart. I can't tell. No, I I just can't see any um, obstacles in my way because of all the names in front of me. Well, that happens. So. Right here in the front, we've got Colinax, we've got Elise, we have got Cyrildin, and uh, Feobolt, and ooh, ooh, we've got uh, someone missing uh, missing the uh, the mark there on the jump, hitting the oh. edge. 
Yeah, this this is this area in particular is a is a bit tricky, guys, because you got some pretty fast turns, some uh, some uh, some jumps and everything. Yeah, uh, we're definitely seeing uh, the people who haven't quite mastered it uh, falling a little bit behind because of that. Yeah, all the way in the front with a big big lead. We've got Debatrex. Uh, basically two seconds ahead of the second place who is Colinax third right now we've got Winged Windolorex Debatrex easily coming in first place right there second place being oh that's gonna be a oh I'm gonna need some moderators on that one we had like four people crossing at the same time okay but it does look like one of the leaders was a little bit further behind everybody else there it might be it might be Ooh, ooh, now that was that was spicy there. Debatrex Colina in second. Ooh. We, we need, need a third? We need the third. We need that third. Yes, Debatrex Colina and Wing Wing Dolores. Very nice. Okay, so as Boom, you can see, it's first, a second, and third. See. It's still tight. It's still crazy It's tight. still People super are tight. Such good racers. Yeah, you guys, you've had, ever since uh, this was released, this was uh, last Tuesday. Uh, was it this Tuesday? No, wait. Has it only been out for five days? It has, hasn't it? It has been out for five days, and these guys are fucking pros. Yeah, so it, in fact, it, cause, because we're all in a squad, it seems like you can't actually turn off the squad names. Although, again, it doesn't help that I have large squad health bars. Um, but... But since everybody else is having probably the same issues as us, so it really matters if you've practiced these courses. Because if you haven't practiced these courses, uh, you're you're almost running this blind. Almost, yeah, yeah. It can be it can be pretty tricky going through all the different uh, all the different uh, nooks and crannies and turns. It can all be very very quickly over uh, by just hitting the wall, slamming into a tree or something. Exactly. But we and we actually, have got oof, height. In that case, it's very good to get out ahead first, it seems. That that way, you don't have any names in front of you. You only have the terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get ready for the second race there. Let's do a ready check for race three. Did you or two, sorry, my bad. The, uh, the leaders? No, we'll, uh, I did it for uh, this map, and we're going to do it every map. So okay. we can't we can't do it. Uh, it's gonna take too long if we do it all the time. But what I can do, no. what I can do, guys, is I can show you the points as they are tallied right now. Das Banan with fourteen points, still technically in the lead here, um, because of the uh, oh oh oh. We've got a yeah. It's one point. Sorry, that should only be thirteen points. My bad. Uh, I believe right. Yes. Uh, Fable will with 12 we have got Ilo and Callium everything's kind of getting tallied up wing Dolores here with 10 points though Woof. Hmm. Where have we got Debatrex there we go Debatrex with 14 points one point ahead one point ahead Wait go down a Woof. little bit I thought I saw somebody with 17 points 17? No, 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 what? No, I think there was a there's a little bit of a mistake real quick cuz uh, we were giving them too many points. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. We're giving them slightly too many points. Yeah. All right. Oh my god, wow, I need to delete that beer really back close. thing. Sorry. No, the the scores are still really close to each other. This is great. That is indeed great. All right. All right. This is a bit of a baddie. Uh let's do this real quick. The race takes ap approximately 1:30. Seconds, so uh, Heliantine, we're gonna cancel. That means we are ready here, guys. We are ready. Let's go before the ra the race event actually starts. So, three, two, one, go, boom. All right. And the racers are off, boom. Here we go, let's get the map lined up. So for this stretch, if you're not using your boost, it's pretty just, pretty much just very important to maximize your time by staying uh, as low as possible. Not, oh, it's so hard to see things. It <laughs> is not not going uphill if you can. That is true. That is true. You really gotta be uh, be mindful of uh, 
of how how few few drifts you have to do as well. Just kind kind of got to keep going. Oh, I feel I think we've got Mako here moving back to get a checkpoint. You don't technically actually have to because you were not racing the timer. Uh, you just gotta um, follow, but, no, but... You know what? she's doing the right thing because you don't want to encourage people just missing checkpoints and forgetting about it. It is true. It is true. He is doing the right thing. That is that is right. We are following the uh, the frontier Ciderfly in the front, a famous uh, recontester, so to speak, from an earlier beetle race that uh, that I have hosted, where he took home big big prizes here, right next to Debatrex, both right there in the front, neck and neck. They're both pretty, pretty fucking uh, close to, uh, like, c having the biggest lead ever. This is a pretty safe first and second place. But the question is, who actually takes it? Ciderfly in the front. Who has the booster at the end? Ciderfly in first and Debatrix second and the third here. Oh, that's going to be a... Oof, I need eyes on the ground here. That is a close one. That is a close one. The snail running through... <laughs> the snail of blue dots running through the map here. This is good. This is good fun. All right, second race. That was. Oof. Where have we got? We have got Ciderfly, Debatrex, and who was third? I need a moderator to really quick me, quickly hook me up here with eyes on the ground. Louise uh, Featherstone says she's fourth. I think it's very safe to say. Uh, if you don't come for a second or third, just assume that you're fourth. That's the way to go. Mm, good point, good point. Um, started two seconds later because of this system. Oh. <laughs> you think Tarek might be... Press space before W, all right. I believe I believe it 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 will go to Tarek then. It's a pretty uh, it's a pretty uh Ooh. Man, I I pretty love close one. all these races are. Yeah. I didn't actually I I'm not going to lie guys. I actually thought there was going to be a much bigger disparity, but you guys are actually showing up to be fucking crazy racers. Crazy racers. We've got like so many people right like mm, neck and neck all the way through inching in and out so i think a Tarek, i believe he's the third um and that is uh wait i missed it real quick so originally we had thought maybe we could follow on with a griffin but yeah <laughs> go way too fast it's it's impossible all right, Tarek. Let me get let me get Tarek here real quick. Uh, where is he? Here he is. Tarek eighty five sixteen. There he is. Third place, Tarek. And that is race five. There we go. Four, uh, four points to him. We've got Devatrex, and then we got Ciderfly easily taking. Easily taking the lead there. All right, let's go for the finale of Diesa Plateau. The final and third race. Okay, ready, check it up. The third and final, I meant. Ready, check. <laughs> All okay. right. Diesa Plateau champions. All right, Card Cardman is the only turn. one. Uh, uh, we good. need the we need the moderator here real quick. All right, cool, we're good. Let's go. That's a three, two, one, go. Start your engines. Wait, it's too late to start your engines if uh, if that's you what you're doing. We should have totally started them already. Oh boy. Okay, there we so go. this race in particular, I I'm having trouble finding exactly where to uh, to maximize my boosts. Oh really? Is the yeah. famous boot spur struggling with this race? Is that what you're telling us? Well, apparently yes, because I just said something. But no, I <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I think I'm like 28th or something. 
on it. I, I was 11th, but then people started trying it as well. Well, um, well yeah, humble I brag there. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm 177th. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got Ciderfly here losing a bit of speed in the drift around the corner here. It's a bit of a tricky drift as well. We've still got Ciderfly. Oh, we've got Garfried. Here he comes. In case you guys don't know who Garfried is, Garfried is one of the people who first and initially beat the Mad Drifter uh, racetrack with a crazy, crazy time. He is a a quality beetle razor you want to look out for this guy he is right now taking the front of this beetle track he's trying to catch some points here he's uh he's not been uh, been showing up uh, too crazy but right now he's actually just pushing ahead easily taking that first place ciderfly actually ac accidentally hitting a wall oh and losing the second place what up oh, i need a oh my goodness why is this so close every time <laughs> every time we've got the close the close race here Garfried easily nice. taking the first the front uh, front spot. Nice stroll behind everybody else. Exactly, exactly. There he comes. Garfried taking the six points home. And we in second we've got Viv, Vivian I believe it is, Vivian that is Ilo, and then third is Ciderfly. Boom. Nice. Okay, well that's it for Diesa Plateau, guys. Let's nice. let's tally up the scores. That was great, great fucking races. That was amazing, actually. Yeah. Good fun. It's a lot. It works a lot better when we got these long stretches for for the viewability. Yeah. This is good. This is good. So we should uh, take a look. But next, we're, I think we're going to Kessex Hills. Uh, Kessex Hills. There's no Not race Kessex in Kessex Hills. Hills. That's yeah, well, there is, but that's well, the practice one. We're not doing the 10 second one. If you, if, <laughs> no, if you thought 30 one. seconds was bad, oof. <laughs> we're going to Gendarren Fields. Uh, and in Gendarren Fields, uh, I think it might be the easiest race. Would that be right to say? Uh, which one? Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm getting messages or, or left, right, and center. <laughs> <laughs> Gendarren Fields, would you say that that is the yes, most that is relaxed the, that is a, race? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would actually agree. It's a lot of uh, flat, straight, uh, straight areas. Just a few jumps here and there. Gendarren Fields is a is a pretty, pretty chill, pretty, uh, pretty calm uh, race yeah, overall. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how the racers will separate on this particular race, seeing as though it is very calm, not too many bumps, not too many turns. This it's all it all be... come down to minor adjustments i think on this race and we'll see who could adjust better yep yep all right let me get my cheats up here real quick to show where the finish line is the finish line is a little bit off uh, the the start start marker start marker is all the way up up the hill here you want to be behind that line lads and ladies but the finish line is actually down here now I can't actually stand here because uh, there's a lot of enemies here. This is a uh, so I gotta move gonna, out. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap maps. Uh, it looks like the majority of people are in a different map, and uh, we're just gonna try to make sure everybody swap maps if you look like you have less people in your map. Yeah, good. People are trying to do that. All right. It might just be bottleneck right now because uh, there's people here already. Uh, try to keep joining on me, I guess. Um, just All right. click on anybody who's not in your map. Then. Yes, exactly. All right, let's turn off the taco markers there real quick. Again, that is the finish line. Let me get a, a pretty look up here. So I can see people falling down. <laughs> people keep accidentally leaving the squad <laughs> when trying to switch map. <laughs> this is great. This is great. <laughs> so Inaluki says there are no easy yes. races. You're disrespecting all your racers by saying that. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I, it's impossible to disrespect these racers. They're they're too. I mean, they're high above me. There's no way that I could. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. When we've got an easy race, that also means there's a lot of opportunity for some optimization to to be done. 
like exactly. cutting the corners just right get it, like not taking the drift too far to not lose that bit of speed there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that the like really good racers can do with a with a tough race uh or even uh, i mean an easy race sorry yeah waiting into the last second to use your boost on an uphill um that's always an important thing also and in this one in particular there is a turn on a bridge that could eat up a few seconds um if people don't do it properly some people i've noticed have been jumping over the bridge which i don't know if that's the fastest way to do it i haven't done it that way um and i think it's a little finicky trying to do that um so we'll see what these guys do yeah all right it's time to adjust the markers we have got right now first place is clear debitrex with 20 points all right Whoa. 20 points i'm going to show you guys the full roster in a second i'm just going to adjust it real quick we have got in a shared now this is crazy in a shared second place we've got ilo and reaper which is Ciderfly, I believe. Uh, where is he? Ciderfly. That is a shared second place. I'm gonna mark them uh, real quick so you guys can follow them. Um, Let me see if I can actually show them to you. Somewhere in this mass. I can't. I can't see. We'll see it when we go. Give me a second here to mark them. There we go. Ciderfly. I'm just half blind. Oh, oh there's one. And Ilo is there. He is. Boom, Ilo. Marked for you guys to follow. Whew. I hope. All right, <laughs> we've got the third racetrack of the day, guys. Gendaren Fields, a pretty, pretty uh. Lacidaisical. Yeah, la lacidaisical. That's a good word. That's a good word. Let's do a rated check here for the first lap. The first lap around. Let's get the racers out. Um, let me... There we are. Alright. Everyone is ready. Here we go. Three. Two, one. one. Go! go! Here we go. Good start, everybody, again. I like how nobody is starting ahead of the pack. They're being yeah. very good. Everyone's being pretty polite here. I, I can appreciate that, especially... Because, guys, this is a community event. We we uh, we don't have all the kinds of uh, cheat tools that you might uh, find in PvP modes or whatnot. So we're doing the very best that we can to keep everyone... Um, well, in line, so to speak, and I th I thank you all for for helping me uh, helping me uh, make that an easy effort. Mm -hmm. Right, coming up here to the little uh, little water skip, which could have been a long water skip, but the devs actually uh, decided to only have it be a single skip to make it as easy as possible. In case you guys didn't uh, didn't uh, hear the uh, the guild chat from yesterday, uh, coming up to this is probably one of the most tricky areas right here with the hill uh, a lot of people will accidentally fly over the little hill and then miss the drift around the corner coming up to the end here we've got melora black easily in the front a full half second or second ahead of glue tax who is in second sebastian weddle in third that now that is a clear one two three boom okay good nice one but again, the whole pack is maybe l like less than half a second behind the winners. Yeah. Right. It's let crazy me actually. How good all these racers are. Here we go. Let me let me show you how good everyone is. How how uh, how even the spread is, guys. All right. Here we go. The points. Oh wait, actually, let me. Uh, I need to adjust something real quick before showing you that. There we go. Boom. The points are as follows, because I, I kind of forgot to show you guys before. We've got people so close to each other. We've got Debatrex with 20 points, and now we, we've got a bit of a, a more, uh, more, more uh, we've got some extra points coming in right now. We've got Debatrex with 20 points, Das Banan with 15, Colinex 12, Colinex who just placed, I believe that was second, uh, or am I, uh, 
No, wait, never mind. Um, <laughs> never mind, don't listen to me. Gar, <laughs> both Garfried and Glutax with 13 points. We've got Fable with 13 points. That's when I'm 19. Ilo, 16. Like, everyone is so close. Even, even the people that Let's haven't won anything have got eight points. Yes, Reaper here with that Ciderfly. 14 points. We got a lot Oof. of people within like six points of the lead. So one good race and you could come back in this easy. Exactly. There's there's all this is this is why we're doing it as we're doing it, guys. This is why we have everyone running every single race. It's because we've got that intensity going all the way through. All right? There's a lot there's an easy catch up if you just take over that take over the people with the uh, with the markers above their heads. Easy. You got fucking tons of points. I have a question. Does chat have any vested interest in any of these racers? Do we have like a Debatrax uh, fan? Fang, fang, oh, yeah, so <laughs> Debatrax versus Ilo. Uh, team Debatrax, Team Ilo. I'm I'm a I'm a huge Ilo fan. Pro <laughs> I think I think we're gonna have to start. You know. Uh, Wait, are you are you uh, are you uh, what's it called Jada? Are you a fan of uh, Ilo there? Is that what you're what's, telling us? What's Ilo? <laughs> what's Ilo? Hey. All right, second second race of the Gendaren Fields track. Let's do a ready check. Ready up. That guys, that guys will be the halfway mark. This is our eighth race out of fifteen. All yeah. right. Yeah. Woo. I gotta say. I was worried about uh, about going too fast in the follow car, but this is not an issue. Everybody is going faster than me, and it's great. Oof. All right. Here we go. Everyone's ready. Everyone's ready. Let's do three, two, one, go, boom, and the racers are off. We've got a... Ooh, a I constantly see... Asuaka right in the front all the way all the way to the end and then he kind of drops off I don't know like he's a really really fast racer constantly really in the front fast starter yeah no but like he's 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 constantly in like so many races he's got a really good uh, good uh, speed a good control of that beetle but we just have not seen him in the in the top places cuz uh he just keeps. I guess he keeps getting uh, overtaken by uh, by some of the uh, some of the other uh, other races in the later stages. Yeah, maybe. I mean, again, it, these races all sort of depend on just being perfect. If if you want to place in the top three, you just it has to be a perfect race each time. That is that is indeed true. We've got Melur Black easily getting that. Oof, everyone getting that Ooh. smart, except for Boots, the oh, world. No champion there missing okay, the oh with these guys these are my friends yeah oh the water okay. water buddies there melora yeah. black coming in first here who's got the speed to cross this jump real quick oh wing dolores in second oh i think he just overtook glutax right there at the very very end of it all holy shit we're gonna have a ooh. yes we've got melora first place wing dolores in second place and I think it was Glutax in third. Yeah, Glutax in third. I don't know. I think I was in third place. Or Garfried. Oh, we've got a bit of a... Oh, Garfried. We've got some uh, moderator uh, stuff here. Sorry, Glutax. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, okay. We've got we've got the moderators. Sorry, my bad. My bad. The moderators are telling me that Garfried definitely made third. Garfried is third right there. Confirmed. That makes it uh, Melora, Wing Dolores, and Garfried. Oof. Mm -hmm. Nice job, everyone. Glutax oh, must have been have, fourth. Oof, do we have so Black's close. music to play while we race? Uh, we've got other music playing in the background. Have long, oh, okay. Otherwise, it would get a little bit uh, repetitive, I guess, listening to the same thing. I think that's the point. Yeah, good point. Well, the mu granted, the music we've got playing isn't that loud, so there's that. I went swimming. It's true. Oh, Garfried. So this was number two of this race? Yes. We've got the okay, final so final race of the Gendaren Fields here coming up right up. 
And then once we're done with that, we move on. There's only two more races to go after that. Yes. One is a um, pretty a stunning one. It's the one on Mount Maelstrom. It's uh, you go in a volcano. What more can you ask for? You and then the last volcano. one is going to be kind of insane. It is indeed. That is probably one of the most uh, feared races the Brisbane Wildlands with its infamous mimosa saplings all over the place. Whew. So many things could go wrong, and it's so long. <laughs> it is. It's a very long track, and there's there's so many places to really optimize for. I'm very, very uh, excited for that final one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all here right. we are. We're ready for the final race here on Gendarren Fields. Here we go. The countdown starts. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, nice. I, start, I forgot to uh, start my bubbles. Nice. So I'm going to have to do this from memory. This will be fun. And without the boosts, now that's something, isn't it? Uh huh. All right. We've got here in the front, we've got Groomsh. Uh, and and uh, one of the players we haven't seen much of here, but he is he's clearly in the front here. He, but, oh, I mean, I mean, the snail of. Uh, Beetles just moving ahead. The blue snail slowly crossing the map here. It is great to see everyone just so close to each other. It really is. Aval. Ooh, we've got some uh, some new names here coming up to the front lines, the very front lines. Colinax. Ooh, we know we know that name easily. We got Hawkeye here cutting through. Ooh, what is this? What is this, my man? That is that seems like cheating. <laughs> Colin X, Colin X easily here. We've got a we've got a big clump of people here in the front. It's going to be very interesting to see the jump here at the very end. Wayne Dolores pulling ahead. It just oh easily pulling ahead. Everyone seems to have lost a bit of speed, but Wayne Dolores kind of just kept it all going. Groomsh and Sunless the Reaper. That is your first, second, and third place right there. Now that is hype. Wow. Boot, boots not making not making the jump there. Ooh, what, what? It's kind of hard to do things without boosts. I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is, guys. It, it's uh, it's pretty uh, punishing not to have it. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think it's time to uh, go on to Mount Maelstrom. Everybody. Yes, that concludes the Gendaren Fields, our third racetrack of the day. We are now moving into the ninth. No, sorry, tenth. What am I? What? I may I may have made a mistake here in the counting, counting process. We're moving into the next race, which is Mount Maelstrom, the giant, a dangerous volcano, of the Maelstrom. Yes, this area is actually a pretty uh, pretty funny one because uh, the devs were actually struggling a bit, as far as uh, as I've heard, they were struggling a bit uh, with the. Uh, how the event inside the volcano is actually managed. So really? for yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, um, uh, we uh, wait, if you fail the meta event for uh, for that uh, for that uh, area, everything starts to burn. The entire inner side of the volcano is taken oh, no. over by the mega destroyer and it starts to burn everything. And basically, as far as I understand, they went with a method that was that basically just uh, resulted in uh, allowing you to go through it by adding the boosts. They they designed the path through it uh, so that it was fast enough that you wouldn't die in case it was up. So yeah, there's that. Oh great, okay. Well yeah, it, it took a bit of a it took a bit of a. Of maneuvering. Okay. All right, let's get the cheat markers up. We've got the finish line is all the way over here, my fellow moderators, all the way over here. We've got three people uh, needing to join us in the map. All right, we've got. Sorry, I, I've got a little bit of a. Um, that's ten. Wing. All right, I've got a little bit of a, an extra thing that uh, I need to check up on. Um, okay, while you're doing that, let's do some uh, let's do some drifting. Yes, while you do that, that is actually perfect. Because I need to do a quickie fix. Boom. 
here. Right, Boots is gonna, yes. You're doing that. I don't know. Give me a second, give me a second. Doing things. Doing what you do on a roller beetle. This is what you do. You just go around, climb hills, figure out you can't climb them, fall down. So one bad thing about roller beetles that I've noticed, if your hill is too steep, you don't go faster, you get held up by little bumps. It's a real shame. Like this is just the right speed, I think, the right uh, slope. But if it was much steeper than that, it would be very bumpy going down. Alright, we're just, we're just sorting out some points here real quick. Uh, I will let you know who is in front in just a second, guys. Let me swap the overlay to the appropriate racetrack. Mmm, the behind the scenes stuff. The behind the scenes stuff. All this So I, I figured while stuff. you were doing that, I could talk a little bit about this race. So, a few things to think about with this race. The start. The start is very important with this race. Uh, you lose a lot of speed going up this hill if you don't do it properly. Uh, there is a boost right around here. And if you use it right away, you're not going to actually come out of this hill with enough speed. So you're going to want to hold on to that boost for a little bit before using it. Um, that way you can keep the speed from your boost going up over that hill. So I'll, maybe I'll show you a good way to do that. There's another thing around uh, where the t near the top of the hill there is some bumps and you can lose a lot of speed by hitting those bumps in the wrong way. So what you want to also do is uh, kind of not hit the bumps, go kind of between the bumps right over here and you'll have some speed. Um, obviously I didn't do that perfectly, it was still okay though, so I have some speed coming out of here but you could go a lot faster coming out of there. The rest of the race is also very interesting. Actually, the cool thing about this race is that there's a lot of lava fields that are bumpy. And uh, and this race is not so, uh, so deep into boost management as it is into um, making sure your car goes over smooth surfaces and doesn't make you bump too much. So it'll be interesting to see how many of these people are able to maintain their speed coming out of all these tricky elements. Definitely, definitely. All right, we've got everything sorted here. I'm back, I'm back. Um... All right, let's get some points on the screen here, guys. Let's get some points on the screen so you guys can follow along with the fantastic, fantastic races that we've got. In the front, we have actually got a close, like immensely close race, all right? We've got Depotrex with 23 points, but also, guys, we've got Wing Dolores with 23 points. We have got a shared first place and a shared second place with equal amounts Daspanan and Varison with 21 points this could not get any closer Re and keep in mind we have prizes for sick the top six players yes. so that means that people even not even highlighted I've seen at least three other people with 19 points which exactly are only two away from second and then a bunch of other people with 14 15 16 points so this is still up for grabs for anyone We've got Reaper here with 19 points. We have got uh, Ilo with 19 points. We've got Garfried with 19 points. Everyone is basically just, oof, everyone's so close. This is so great. All right. You know All what's right. interesting too? Everybody with 11 points right now are people who have not come first, second, or third in any of the races. If they win two races, yeah, they, they are, are in. in the lead. They are, they are winning. They are winning <laughs> yeah. big time, big time. Taking those gems home, easy. Easy gems. All you gotta do is win. Just win. That's it. That's it. Just yeah. have to win. There's it's lots easy. of chances. Lots of chances. There's still. six races left. This is our. There's uh, five races. Wait. Yeah, six. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> There's six races left. This is the first of the Mount Maelstrom. We're gonna wait a minute here for the uh, the. Uh, oh shit! No, we can actually keep going because the race won't. Yeah, we're gonna start right after the the race event starts. Uh, so, so we'll we we'll have, have time. Races. Yeah, both so we don't have those other racers, but also so uh, so that we don't have uh, any issues with the what are they called? Uh, the orbs disappearing in between stuff. Uh. Well, the orbs disappearing only happens when, when it ends. ends. Yeah. Right. Yeah, which will be 10 minutes after it starts. True. All right. Time to take away my little cheat markers for the finish line here. Because the thing is, guys, the reason why I have to take them away is because it doesn't work with the overlay. Um, it kind of it kind of stays on the... I don't know. I don't know what actually was made to these specific markers, but they stay when I open the map. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, it's kind of weird. All right, taking the points away. Everyone, uh, all the fourth, the four uh, top players right now are marked. Uh, so follow that on the on the course, guys. Let's do a ready check and let's get it going. Hmm. Let. Don't forget to start up the uh, the race event, the adventure. <laughs> the we one cannot, that was taking no, again. especially not on this one. Especially not on no. this one because there yeah, are some gnarly loose. hills that you are not going to get uh, get uh, get past. All right. Yeah. The squad is ready. That means three, two, one, go. Okay. And Good everyone start. is off here. Easy. Let's see how this uh, hill affects most of these players. And so we got, I mean, it's still pretty tight. We saw a few people got a lot of speed coming out of there. You can see there's that yellow car that just passed me. I see it keeps saying car, even though you they're keep saying car, and people in chat are not making fun of you at all, boots. Not yeah, at all. This is a tricky turn here. Uh, you could hit a lot of things, which I kind of just did. Uh, not a big deal, though, because you could boost out of it not too difficultly. But again, you see the people in front, they are people who uh, got out of it without any trouble. And uh, you have so much more speed coming out of it uh, if you have, if you don't basically hit anything or take those bumps the wrong way. Yeah. Garfried here, he is pushing for that first place now. He oh, is boy. completely demolishing everyone else. Almost because Deba Tregs is right there on him, overtaking him right there in the in the drift. But oh, oh, he seems to have hit a wall, Deba Tregs, and Sebastian Vettel is actually going to get first place, followed closely by Garfried and then Deba Tregs. Oh my goodness, we actually had one of the front runners uh, get a get a bit uh, bopped on the head there quite early on. I saw a uh, I saw a circle marker all the way in the back there, yeah, halfway and, through the, the and track. heart marker Ooh. here also way in the back. That is a uh, yeah. We've got uh, Sebastian in first place, Garfried in second, and Debatrex in third. Garfried, he's going for those extra points now. He knows he's close to that. Oof, he knows it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to catch up. Mod team, yes, thank you so much for to my moderators for being on point. You guys are doing a wonderful fucking job. You truly are. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Boots, can you tell me what the timer on the uh, race event is real quick? Can you start the event? I can do that. The answer is I'm on a beetle and I missed. Yeah, that was uh, nice. The uh, answer is five minutes. We got Perfect. plenty of time. All right, plenty of time. We're going to do a ready check here for the third Second lap, sorry, my bad. Second lap of the Mount Maelstrom track. This is a pretty punishing one. We saw some uh, some pretty uh, pretty uh, hard the front bump, runners bumps were on the head some there. Trouble. Some of the front runners were having trouble. Do yeah. Uh, were any of the front runners in first place this time around? We had Debatrek still uh, in second place. I've, wait, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty good. Oh, third, my bad. Third place, third place. Uh, Sebastian Vettel there, still like a close, close right. Ooh, everyone's so close though. All right, all right, let's get the, the last people here. Okay. Yeah, my, my bad guys, my bad. I see, I see the squad chat. All right, I see the squad chat. 
It's uh, keeping keeping track of all these names there. Whew, whew. My bad. My bad. All right. Honestly, I really think Sebastian Vettel should win. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! It's the name. Are we seeing some bias here? Are we seeing some bias from the from the moderator team? The name. Oof. Is that allowed? <laughs> the name is great. The name is great. All right. Enderman and Sarkisek, let's go, boys. Let's go. We don't. We don't have. Uh, we we have to do it before the the event ends. Let's go. We're just waiting for the last ready ups here. I'm just poking them real quick. Not letting. All right. That means he is ready. All right, let's do it. Everyone's okay, ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Trying a little bit behind everybody else. Give them the time they need to get way in front of me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it looks like Nobody had a fantastic start on that one. Everyone kind of just did a decent job. Everyone did a decent job. We've actually got Il Yavi here in the front. Ooh, for just a second before he gets overtaken in the turn. This is a bit of a bumpy road right here. This area, extremely yeah. bumpy. You really gotta watch out. You really gotta get your you gotta, boost you right. Gotta do your, you gotta do your drift in here. Yeah, Garfry, truly, truly going for that win here. I think he's practiced the Maelstrom uh, track quite a bit because he is in front once more. This time he's not taking any chances. He is a full second ahead of uh, uh, second place, who is Colinax and and oh pure, oh everyone getting caught there a little bit. Every, Nobody seems to, to be able to make that drift there. It's a really, really punishing drift as well, so I don't yeah. blame them. Garfried coming in first place. Second place seems to be Colinax or Debatrex. Yeah, Colinax second and then Debatrex in third. Ooh, Debatrex so keeping up. Needle in the middle of the pack with me. Yeah. With a boot spur. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that's nice. Garfried first. He is not checking any chances whatsoever guys i think garfried has practiced this a lot he knows he's just a, a few points behind Oof. this being on eu is really rough on my on my scores i don't have any of my scores here <laughs> yeah feels bad man feels bad being uh, being amongst the the plebeians huh or yeah quite the contrary i guess all the pro eu players mm-hmm this is a good score here. The uh, person in first. Hold on, I'm gonna find. Can you it. check? Can you check the uh, timer on the event there? By the way, mate. Yeah, that is a full uh, 0.5 seconds faster than mine on NA. Nice, nice. Uh, we got 52 seconds. We gotta wait. All right, we're gonna wait just a minute here. We're gonna wait just a minute. Yeah, we had uh, we had some new names there in the front for a second there. We didn't really uh, some of the some of the uh, the veteran dogs, some of uh, some of the first place uh, front runners here didn't really get a, a perfect start right off the bat. So we got some new names uh, on the on the board for just a hot second, but everyone else got overtaken by Garfried. He knows, he knows, he wants those gems. He wants that mount skin, guys. In case you're just joining or you missed the start, what we're playing for today is quite a big pool of gems. The first, the top two players, we will have six winners. The top two players will be winning 1,600 gems and a, a free select of your mount skin. That is a total value, that has a total value of 1,200 gems. Free, free, uh, free of charge. I have so an important fair. question. Can that free selection of your mount skin be used for beetles. Yes, you can okay. get you can get your favorite beetle. Um, basically, in case you guys, uh, here we go, here we go. It's the I believe it is the distant lands mount adoption license, uh, the guaranteed one uh, that you will be given. This is, by the way, sponsored by uh, ArenaNet. Absolutely. Sponsored by ArenaNet. 
Um, second place will be getting, or this, that is the uh, third and fourth place will be getting 800 gems and the fifth and sixth place will be getting 400 gems each. Not so yeah, gems. so many gems guys, so many gems. All right, let's do a ready check. Ready is up. Ready up, I'm going for speed. Okay, is this the last race? Yeah, this is the last race. On this the is the last. This is the third. Yeah. And then we go to Brisbane Wildlands. And Wild then we go to the big craziness. boy race. Oh boy. Big Can boy race. Off. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Um, okay. give me a hot second. There we are. Three. Two. One. Go. And the racers okay. are off. Oh, I may have gone too fast in that one. I'm gonna slow down a bit. Well, no, that's a, that's a bit hazardous there, isn't it? All right, we've got Groomshear in the front, pushing this. Now this this little area does not necessarily, it, it can be it can be very uh, determining for the rest of the race, actually, this initial, uh, initial little, little part. Because you can lose yeah. a lot of speed right out the gate if you don't really manage your speed properly. That's absolutely right. If you don't do this properly, you could have you could be three seconds behind for the rest of the race. Yeah, it's pretty. That is a lot, by the way. When we're talking milliseconds between all of these races in the first first and uh, second place, Cyril then hitting the wall. Properly, Ooh, ouch. I don't mean like going the wrong way. I mean like just hitting a bump the wrong way. Yeah. This is a very, very punishing track indeed. We have got three completely new ra uh, names in the front. Oh, but, oh, the front runner with a lot of uh, distance gets completely demolished by that drift there. It is an incredibly punishing drift right there in the tunnel. Cyrildin, oh, in the front with, who is that other one? Avol and, oh my God, we're going to have... That is three completely new names. Guys, that do you know how easy it is? Up. Exactly, that spices everything up. Do you know how easy it is to catch up with literally everyone in the front? You just have to win a few. Ooh, wow. that is crazy. That is Errol in the front, Cyril second place, and Talo in third place. Nice, three entirely new names. That is, that is pretty, uh, whew. Pretty Pog, pretty Pog. Can we get some Pog champs in chat, guys? Please, that is, that is, whew. Poggers. Pog, champ. Pog champs. Okay, so, guys, Brisbane. Brisbane Wildlands. What is the name for the Brisbane? That's called the Tropic, Tropic Circuit or something like that? Uh, yeah, I believe you are right on that one. So, okay, this Boots, is, what can you tell uh, us about this, uh, this particular map? This one is long. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it other than it being long. It's basically twice as long as any other race. Um, wow. What that means is you have twice as many opportunities to run into something and mess up. <laughs> so uh, it'll be interesting to see how these players do. Uh, I assume everybody's done it before. Maybe not that one guy who had to walk to the S Plateau. Um, but uh, honestly, this will separate the uh, the chaff from the from well, the cream rises to the top. I'm, I'm mixing metaphors. But <laughs> I love the metaphors, man. Value. All right, I need to check up on the scores here. Cartman, you are doing a fantastic job, by the way. Thank you so much for keeping tally of everyone's points. Um, we have got, we're just missing the last race to be filled in. So let's, let's give it a minute here. Let's give it a minute. Right. Boots, can you demonstrate this track for us? Demonstrate. Yes. Uh, sure. Okay. So you're going to boost off the start, obviously. Uh, here, you don't want to drift. You want to take it nice and easy with some turns. Um, and uh, again, you're going to have a nice long straightaway. Here, again, you don't want to drift. Take it nice and easy with the turn, but you want to boost out of it because that's when you get your boost pass. Here, this is an interesting spot, okay? So you can take it nice and easy by drifting, 
drifting is actually the preferred method to ensure that you get out of it okay. But I think you could get more uh, a faster speed coming out of it if you find the right corner and turn through it. Uh, I've only done it once or twice and I have been really fast coming out of it. Um, but if you want to be a lot more consistent, you're going to want to drift. Uh, out of here, you're going to drift out of this corner. Hopefully you'll have your boost before hitting that boost, so uh, the, the bubble. So you'll be able to boost into the bubble and maintain your boost out of it. Uh, come along here, no need to drift or anything. Come over, I, I like to, you could go under it, and I think that's cooler to go under it, because you know, you get to go under things. But it's uh, maybe a little faster to go over it. And you wanna boost up this hill, hopefully a little bit later so that you have a lot more speed coming out of it. I'm gonna use my thing so I can actually maintain my speed. Um, no drifting allowed here. Make sure that you are uh, not going uphill, hitting too many bumps. If you uh, don't have your boost when you're going over that bridge, probably the best thing to do is to uh, do a trick going over that bridge so that you could get a boost by the time you land and use your boost right away. Um, I'll try to show that again. Do, 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 do. Obviously, I'm not going fast enough, though, so this is not going to work very well. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Jump over the bridge, use your boost. You will have your boost by the end of this, but, uh, but not me right now because I'm not doing it properly. You're going to probably drift into this corner, collect your boost, and only use it right around here. Jump over here, and because you used your boost late, you're going to be maintaining your speed coming down this hill. Uh, avoid this tree, try to squeeze between these two things, get your boost, try to leave off of it as long as you can, but then use it before you lose too much speed. And uh, you're halfway through. <laughs> That's how long this race is. It is an incredibly, incredibly long race indeed. Ajax, thank Don't... you so much for the host there. You shouldn't miss that by going over it. That's that's point number Ooh, one. That is gonna keep punishing. Going. Uh, again, when you're going uphill, you're going to want to have a boost to use so you don't slow down. Um, there would be a checkpoint here. There's a checkpoint at the end of this thing here. You're going to probably do a little trick off of it if you don't have enough boost. Now here is where things get weird. There's a lot of roots around here, so you're going to want to boost and probably jump over all of the roots like that. Uh, it's a very tricky thing to do, but it's pretty important because you don't want to hit any roots and get caught up. Uh, and then boost up through there. You'll have some boost left over if you used your boost before hitting the, the orb. And then you could boost out of it and finish the race. Ta-da! Ta-da, indeed. As you can see, guys, this is the incredibly long race. Uh, the timer for just getting uh, the extreme timer is... Two minutes and 35, uh, yeah, minutes. It's two minutes and 35 seconds. That's the fucking word I was trying to say there. Um, <laughs> value. Let's get this underway. We've got the race uh, on 10 minutes left. So let's do the first of three Brisbane Wildlands final racetrack. These are the final three. But first, guys. I have marked for you all, We, I think we just had a DC there, um, I have marked for you all the players, the front runners of this entire uh, tournament. They are marked, so you can follow them in the race. You have to, if you are struggling behind, you want to look out for Das Banan, Debatrix, Garfried, Garfried catching up crazily right there in the last one, getting those easy first and second places, catching up so many points. If you are behind and you are crazy good at this uh, this uh, particular race, you wanna go and snag some wins. You wanna go and snag some easy points. There's a lot of players, a lot of racers, still in this, just behind the front runners. Yeah, we, I mean, not even marked are uh, two spots that gain prizes. 
so like if you're not highlighted, you might still have a prize at this point. Yeah. Um, and and also, so there's three races left. Twelve, uh, eighteen points up for grabs if you win all three of them. That means uh, you are going. If you're at fourteen points right now, you can still beat the person in first place. Except they get one point each. So no. If you have seventeen points right now. You can still tie the person in the first place. Yeah, yeah. But you do not even have to get to the first place. Guys, there's going to be six winners, all right? Six winners of this monumental tournament. So mm -hmm. let's get the first race underway. Let me remove the points here real quick. And just to be safe, we got the, the last person in the map. So here we go. I am ready. I, I highly anticipate being left behind on this one by messing up one thing. Whew. Yeah, this is an incredibly, incredibly punishing track. Mm -hmm. So be be wary, guys. Be wary. Let's see. Let's see how well everyone does here. It's going to be very interesting to see who who uh, who comes out ahead from the very yeah. get go. It's, All right. It's let's see speed, here. But most importantly, it's about consistency. Exactly. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. And the racers are off. Let's get this map Oh my fitted. goodness. It's so weird seeing all of these people like this. Um, okay. There we are. Oh, well, there you go. That's mistake number one. Mistake number one of many boots. <laughs> I feel it. There we are. All right, we've got here in the front. Sorry about that uh, graphic overlay there. It's fixed. We've got in the front, we've got Ciderfly. I, I see a lot of people here saying in chat, the Ciderfly and uh, Reaper here, uh, Ciderfly Reaper uh, is, is crazy good at this one. And he is actually showing to be like right here in the front with Debatrex. Oof. But then again, guys, we've got five people in like the very front. We've got another 10, just a second behind. This race is incredibly close already. This is absolutely I crazy, all right? Yeah, we got a lot of friends back here with me. They're they're not not doing badly in this race. They're just keeping me company. <laughs> right in the front, coming out of this this most horrendous area where you're just going up different hills, jumping up and down the environment. We've got in the front a Debatrex and Vivian. Ooh, ooh, who is who is the one behind here? Garfried. Garfried. Ooh, he wants those gems. He's hungry. Mmm. <laughs> he wants those gems. We've got Groomsh right behind Vivian, and ooh, we've got all the big, all the front runners here in the ooh, in the lead. We also got some new ones. We've got some new names we haven't seen much of. All right, the races are coming up to the jump. This is a massive jump down a canyon, and you have to go all the way up, the same distance up. And this can be done very quickly, but this can also be the most punishing moment of the entire race right here at the end debatrix getting a little bit hit there Ooh, losing some speed this is all about boost management you got to have that boost ready at the very end garfried pulling ahead easily pulling ahead right there he knows how to boost right there at the end coming up getting a clear first place in second oh we've got sebastian i didn't see who second and third i need some moderators boom moderators let's go nice nice race well indeed. played indeed garfried seb yes who was uh we had a third Avil, there we go garfried in first Avil in second and sebastian uh vettel in the third boom confirmed Confirmed by the moderator team. Can I just tell you how difficult it is to not hit obstacles when you have basically like the entire like seven eighths of the of the area that you need to see in front of you filled by green tags. <laughs> you might wanna you might wanna kill the. Uh, I think I'm gonna, yeah, big, I'm gonna do that. 
big squad <laughs> messages or big uh that's a little bit better there okay. we are yeah there we go it's a little bit better all right we have got uh we've got three minutes on the t oh my god this is actually let's go okay we do it we do it quick we can do this three minutes if we go quick easy otherwise yeah, we have to wait three good. minutes if we're getting three minutes on the front runners here, we're doing it wrong anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's go, boys, lads and ladies. Nobody needs that final boost. This is gonna be great, unless you're ready up real quick. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Oh shit, I forgot. Go, go. <laughs> Everyone. Oh, no. Wait, Please. sorry. Yeah, that's a restart. 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 Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we don't want to uh, challenge the legitimacy of this. No, this, uh, no, 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 no. This is <laughs> this is the most important uh, race of them. All right, we're gonna have to. We're just gonna wait two minutes, guys. Um, yeah. My bad, right there. Um, that also gives me an opportunity to fix the UI real quick. All right, let's take a look at the points. Let's take a look at the points while we're waiting, all right? Boom. We have yes, got please. now, in the very, very front now, with 37 points. Doing? He's probably doing good, he's probably doing good. Oh yeah, he's tied, he's tied for yeah. a second, I think. Second, uh, in the front, in the very front, we've got Garfried with 37 points. We have got in a shared second place, Debatrex and Das Banan. We need to break that tie though. We need to break that yeah. tie because guys. It's okay if first and second are tied, but it's not okay if second and no, third are tied. No, no prices. That's not gonna, that's not gonna go over well. Uh, we've got some pretty close uh, up and coming. Uh, oof, we've got Wing Dolores 10 points behind, behind the first place, but that doesn't mean he's out, not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Still two races left. That's yeah, 12 same points with, up for grabs. Same with Verizon. We've got six prizes at the end. There is a lot to get to here. Reaper as well here at the very end. Also pretty promising. Ooh, 23 points. We've got some... Uh, this, is, uh, this is close all the way through. 27, yeah. I like wow. this. All right, another 50 seconds and then we go. 27, wow. 30, 37 points for the leader. That is pretty impressive. So what does that mean? That means we've done we've done 13 races so far. So yep. on average, he's getting three points per race. Lots of points. Oof, lots of points right there. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let's take away the points here and let's do a ready check for everyone. Okay. I am ready. This is the second. This is this is technically the semi-finals, guys. This is technically the semi-finals. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that really applies to this kind of tournament. Well, but not yeah. exactly, but technically. All right, technically. <laughs> by the way, guys, if we do have, uh, at the very end, I have to say this, by the way, if we do have some uh, oddities with um, with people being tied for points, um, uh, we will have uh, like race-offs, race -offs, basically. Because we, we need yeah. to break that tie. We need to have, uh, yeah. Yeah, race-offs. Exactly. We're, and we, we've got a setup for that. Um, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. We're ready. So okay. here we go. Three, two, one, go. Everyone is off. Here we go. Oh, boy. And so all the racers are experiencing this having a big clump of names in front of their face. So I'm impressed with everybody who's able to see through it oh and do their best. This map though, this is, there yeah. you go. All a right, people, great, there you go. A lot of people fell behind there with me. Oof, oof. And yeah, we got yeah, Ciderfly now here in the front. The infamous Ciderfly. Chat has been bragging about, you gotta show, show your skills now, mate. You gotta pull ahead, Ciderfly. So, I have an issue. Uh, 
my boost disappeared. Well, Rippy Dippy, does it, did, <laughs> did this happen for everyone? Because in that case, everyone is on, on par. Yeah, hopefully. I guess, to a not, certain degree. Probably not. Probably not. Who knows? All right, in the second place, we've got Garfried. We've got Garfried easily. He wants the, he wants those gems. Ooh, I can feel it. Elise, third place with the clump here. Ooh, the clump of people, the blue snail moving through the map. Ciderfly easily keeping that keeping that front, but it's not going to take a whole lot. It is not going to take. It's basically not going to take anything. He had one mistake, and Garfried takes him easily. Easy peasy. Ciderfly and Garfry in second place, and we've got just like milliseconds behind Garfry. Yeah, he's actually going to get overtaken here by the snail. Oof, he joins the snail here easily. Uh oh. Okay, so first place might be up for grabs in this race. It might actually. No, Cider Ciderfly has got the, a bit pretty good lead here. A full second, I'd say. Maybe even a maybe even two. Uh, to Debatrex, who's in second, and then uh, Tallow in third as of this moment. All right, coming up to the most crucial point of this entire race, the finale, going uphill through the branches. This is all about boost management. Manage your boosts, all right? I say it's more about avoiding those roots. Oh, that too. That too. It's twofold. Ciderfly easily coming in a full two seconds ahead of everyone else. Taking first place, Ciderfly, he really is showing up. Sebastian Vettel in second, and then, ooh, we need a, we need a picture, uh, we, need, finish. we need a mod, mod pick there for, uh, for third. Not All right. easy. Ciderfly, Debatrex, and Sebastian Vettel. That's how it goes, that is the mod call there. Ciderfly in first, Debatrex in second, and Sebastian in third. Whew! Whew! Yeah. That is a close race, except for Ciderfly. Ciderfly pulling ahead there, showing chat that they are that he is not going to disappoint them. All right, he is not going to disappoint chat. All right, mm -hmm. guys, for the very very final lap here, this is technically the finale. Oh yeah, we need to we need to see all of these points before yeah. we do this. All points this. will be shown. Give me a second. We're just we're just adjusting the the points here real quick. Setting it up, and then I will show it show it all on the screen. Because this is the finale. This is the this is what decides it all. Who gets first yep. through sixth, and who, like me, is not going to win? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Ooh, ooh. Are you saying you're not as good as all the EU racers here, Boots? I would like to say that I, I I've spied at least probably eight or nine racers who are definitely better than me in this group oh really yeah no that definitely. is ooh, that is something garfry throwing the the bm there in chat with the omega lols Oof. Oof. <laughs> all right the points are tallied let's show them on the screen boom we have got tied for first place is Debatrex and Garfried, both with 38 points. Holy crap. In second place, we have got Daz Banan with 37 points. One, One point, point behind the shared first place. My How goodness. absolutely crazy is that? Wow. In, okay, so what else we got? Scroll down. Where well, I'm scrolling down, we've got a lot of people here. I'm just going to go slowly through. We've got a lot of people with the 16 and 20s. Oof, we got oof. a 25 over there, 26, 28. Okay, wait, we got a 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got so Varison and Ving with 20, uh, 26 and 28, respectively. And we've got Reaper with 29. 29. Okay, I believe 29. those are our uh, top six contestants right now. Yeah. So, but it looks like first, second, and third are all spoken for with those people currently in first, second, and third. Because fourth place cannot overtake third place with a first place win here. Yeah. All right, guys. I need. I need your. Uh, I need the racers' help here. I need Reaper. I need Wing Dolores, Very Sun, 
Um, Garfried, Debatrex, and Das Bananta. Step out, step onto my tag here real quick. I need to mark you all. I need to mark all of you. Respectively, with so with with stars race markers. Commendation. All right, you have one. You have. Wait, I'm just gonna. There we go. And no, no, no! Don't run out! Don't run out! And there, and there, boom! These are the stars of the front. There we go, Garfried with that one as well. I think I messed that up by uh, just one of them. Never mind. That so means say, everyone can follow them. Based on the them. scores, based on the scores, first, second, and third are all. Uh, it is very up in the air after this race who's gonna get those places, first, second, and third between those three people. Mm -hmm. uh, but it will be those three people. Now, uh, as opposed to 6th, uh, 5th, and 4th, which uh, we got a 28, we got a 29, we got a 26, but we got a lot of 24s and uh, a few other scores there that it looks like if any of those people below that get first place, they can overtake. So 4th, uh, 5th, and 6th are still very much up for grabs for a lot of people. I think some someone like uh, Tyronx here or Tyronx with 25 points, it's not yeah, gonna take yeah. much. It's not gonna take much. If you take a third place or a second place, boom, mate, you got a top six gem prize there, easy. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, let's start her up. The finale, the final race of the Brisbane Wildlands. Deroyer and Boots' Beetle Race Travaganza Tournament is coming to a conclusion with this grand finale, guys. Boom. Let's do a ready check for this. Oh, we just have a DC. I'm just going to wait for him. Feobolt, I think he is. Uh-oh. Yeah, give it a second here. Um, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to leave him out here. Easy. Nice. Nice. Someone DC'd, yeah. We can't have that for the finale here. How, what was their score? <laughs> just to make uh, sure. Yeah, I just, I just double checked. If it's 21. So they can get... With a win, they're in top six. That's true. Okay. We gotta so, them back in. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. And Feobold has actually uh, shown pretty good promise there, so uh, hey. Unless he thought you never he know. wasn't gonna win and left on purpose. Hmm, that is, ooh, that would, uh, let's give him, let's give him, uh, a, a, let's say a minute, right? Or two minutes? No, one minute. I feel like, uh... 27 seconds. 27, wait, what? Why 27? I don't know. Alright, we're giving him 28 seconds, let's go. Yeah, you're, you're being very generous. I'm being extremely generous here, I know. <laughs> I know, that one second, though, it means a lot for these, uh, these racers, guys, uh, though. Boots, you gotta know that uh, these guys are basically living in the speed force. Like everything is going so yeah. fast past their their uh, their periphery peripheral vision. Like yeah. a second okay, for them is like a day a for me. So between the top three, we got we got Garfield, Garfield, Garf Garfried, Garfried, Garfried. Garfried. yeah, Garfried. Uh, we got Sebastian Beetle, and who's the third one? Debatrix. Debatrix. Uh, Those are the so top three. Top three, easily any of them could be. The winner of this right now uh in chat everybody who wants garfried to win type one sebastian Vidal type two no wait wait, wait hold up hold up we're, we're gonna do something better we're gonna do something even better guys we're gonna do a poll we're gonna do an actual poll in the ui oh yes give me a second here that is perfect actually let me let me do this. So we've Who's got the ideas? who wins. We've got uh, all right, Sebastian. I f we'll call him that. Sebastian Vettel, and we have got Debatrex, and we've got Garfried. Guys, boom, here. The Ooh. poll is started right in the uh, right above uh, Boots' screen. If you hover your mouse over the UI of the actual stream, there is an extension that you can see my logo. Click on that, and you can vote. You can vote for who you believe is going to win. Current poll. I want this one. Oh man. 
<laughs> my vote is not winning. Oof, oof. Oh, Sebastian Vidal, no! <laughs> Oh boy, okay. All right, well, while this is going, I think we should start the race. Yes, boom, let's go. Ready check here. Oh, we just, he just, no, okay, no, sorry. I thought he just came back, the the guy who DC'd. Yeah, That's sorry, fine. Fairbolt, thank you for joining in though, but we're gonna have to unfortunately start it. Yeah. All right, before we run off, I am going to end the poll, all right? Because uh, otherwise it gets skewed by who's, uh, by how it turns out here. So I'm going to end the poll here real quick. Let's see who you guys believe is going to take the grand prizes. Let me... There it goes. Boom. Looks like With 61.8%, you guys believe Garfried is going to take that win. Easy peasy. All right. Okay. Well, Let's we'll see. get the show on the road. The racers are ready. I, here we go, three, two, one, go, and the racers are off, here we go, nice, beauty, everyone clumped right here in the front, we've got a dark shadow of blue just following along. We got Demetrix high up there right now, yeah, actually. Yeah, easily, easily holding that first spot here, right in the front, with Colinax and Vivian. We've got, oh, wait, what happened to Ciderfly? What happened uh -oh, to Ciderfly? Uh -oh. oh, my goodness, no, did he have to restart? He's all the way in the back. Oh, uh -oh. that feels bad, man. That feels very bad, man. Garfried trailing Demetrix by quite a bit right now. Ooh. Let's see here what we've got. We've got Elise and Colinex in the front, in the very, very front. In the very, very front. In the very, very front. And Sebastian Vettel slowly behind. In the entire blob. Mm, oh, we got someone challenging Debatrix now. I can't see their name. It's El Elise Featherstone, and Colinex is right, at, right in front, in the finale here, guys. They are right in front of all, all of the leading uh, Beetle Racers here. This is pretty, pretty crazy, all right? This is incredible. Yeah, this is actually incredible. Colinax, we've got Elise slowly coming up here. Ooh, can he keep it? Can he keep that front that uh, front runner position? Colinax. And, oh, oh, Debatrax, easily taking. Yeah, you can really see that Debatrax, he knows his corners right there. He easily took over all of the front spots in that final corner, or not final corner, that one corner over here. And he has got a solid front. Going for the jump here. Now comes the hardest bit of the entire race. All the way up the hill, through the branches and everything. Debatrax easily holding the, the spot. Elise right behind him and slowly coming up with a lot of speed is Garfried. If Debatrax doesn't have a boost, he's going to get overtaken right here at the end. We have got Debatrax, Elise, and Garfried neck and neck. I'm We're going to have to... Ooh. I, ooh, I need to see that uh, uh -oh. goal picture photo here. Finish? Is it photo finish? Debatrax, Garfried, and Elise. Whew. Garfry just catching everyone. Holy shit. That is crazy. That is crazy. Debatrix, Garfry, and Elise. I am pretty I'm pretty impressed there with Elise there. Woof. Nice. So that that does it. That decides it. First and second of this race decides who came first and second of the entire thing. That is actually pretty crazy. Alright, that is actually crazy. That's cr that is crazy. The two. Okay, the... Garfried is saying that it, it, it depends on who uh, actually watches it. On his screen, he says he's second, not first. And no, Gar was, yeah, okay. yeah, Gar yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's yeah, right. Okay, that's right. That's correct. That's yeah, correct. exactly. Yeah. So Debatrix first, Garfried second, and Elise third. That means we have a clear winner with a total of. Let me pull this up. Boom, forty-four points.
Debitrex taking home the clear win. But, like to... guys, he's going to share that. We've got two first prize winners, so to speak. So Garfried, as well as Debitrix, will both, will both be winning the grand prize of 1,600 gems and a mount uh, choosy thing uh, with, at a value of 1,200 gems. All sponsored by ArenaNet, by the way. Wow. That I is, would like uh, to appreciate oof. the guy shooting the fireworks. Yeah, very that is easy. actually very, very, very fitting right there. I like that. That is a good... <laughs> good game, Beetle Razors. Good game. All right, we've got Daspanan in. All right, let's let's uh, cause we need to tally this up. Hold up, we've got six winners. So the the shared first place is Garfried and Debatrex. Debatrex coming out one point ahead. Whew. That's insane. Daspanan in third place, sharing that with Reaper. I believe, yeah, with Reaper. Eight points between each other, but that is that is clear second place right there, and uh, third place of four hundred gems each will be Wing Dolores and Verison. I believe, I believe it is. Yeah, Verison, Verison, and Wing Dolores. Boom. Right there. Okay, unless there's any other twenty sevens, maybe you gotta sort it, <laughs> just in case. Uh, I can't really sort that one. I'm not. That's that's smart of the the thing. All right, let me sort it. Let me get the uh, Excel. It's Excel. I don't Excel at Excel. All right. Oh boy. All right, where we go? So, let me get all the winners here. We've got Debatrex and Garfried. Where's Garfried? There it is. That's the first place winners. Das Banan and Reaper. Boom. Uh, okay. That should be right. All right. And what was the Wing Dolores? Boom. And Barrison. Uh, as the share. There we go. So boom. I would like to before we go on to uh, to celebrate the winners. I would like to thank everyone. Everyone who showed up, thank you guys so much for coming to support this. Thank, a quick shout out to Mike C, the game director here, for dropping by and saying hi and participating in the race as well. That was uh, some pretty pog, uh, pre pretty pog start to it all. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, so yeah, that's a good game to everyone. But of course, the biggest of GGs goes out to the winners of this. Garfried, Debatrex, Ciderfly, Daspanan, or Sebastian Vettel, Vettel, uh, Verison, and Wing Dolores, the six winners of the Droyer and Boots' Beetle Race Travaganza. And I would just like to say uh, that all the racers were amazing, and I would also like to appreciate how, because uh, there, this is a you know a community run tournament. It's, it was, there's nothing really perfect set up to make sure people don't cheat. And everybody played well and did not cheat. It was great. Everybody did exactly what they were supposed to be doing. I am very impressed. Yes, uh, thank you so much for making it easy on us guys to, uh, to, to handle this. Thank you guys for not uh, trying to go out of your way to, to snag those prizes, uh, regardless of how juicy they are. <laughs> um, and yeah. I, I don't know, just one last thing to say is keep racing, guys, because uh, not us, but uh, ArenaNet themselves are giving out prizes for just racing these things. So keep racing for the next four weeks, and you might get some cool stuff in the mail. Yeah. Uh, let, uh, let's swap real quick uh, to another uh, view here, Boots, if you don't okay. mind. All right. Give me a sec. Boom. Hey. Whoa. The racing took a lot out of me. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, you've been racing for the entire time. I've just been sitting here, glancing at, at everything. Racing in big, big air quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's important. It's a, it's very important. Right. Uh, the winners, please stick around in the uh, in the squad um, because I, I need to like I need to sort your names uh, and be very clear because um, I am not actually the one who is going to be giving the prices away. Those are sponsored by ArenaNet. Um, so you'll be getting those uh, by a mail, I believe it is. Um, 
but please stay in the squad because I need to sort exactly uh, who you are and your characters and accounts and whatnot. Yes. Thank you so much for uh, for coming and watching as well, guys. Uh, that was uh, super appreciated, and uh, obviously thank you to, to to Boots for coming here and uh, and being My pleasure. being a part of this incredible thing. I'm glad that all I really had to do is race and not fiddle with all the maps and stuff that you had to do. When you were yeah, that was a uh, intense. That was a, a lot of uh, a lot of small small little uh, finicky work there. Anyways, that is uh, that is going to be it for uh, for this time, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for for coming by. Um, if you want to show your support, obviously, if you want to show your support for these community run events, please do uh, do feel free to I don't know throw a follow, uh, sub <laughs> sub to either <laughs> me or Boots. No, I don't I don't yeah. know. Sub to both me and Boots. Um, Boots' YouTube channel as well. Go go follow him if you are not already uh, followed and subscribed. Um, yeah, do you and uh, throw I don't know. Or... This went pretty well. Maybe we should do one of these on NA sometime. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. I'm up for it. That would be, that would be. Oof. I, I saw a lot of people from NA also, uh, also wanting in on these, uh, these juicy prices and the, and the good, exactly. good fun racing. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Mm -hmm. um, All right. well, I, another thing, also. Oh, right before we, uh, before we go, if you want to show your, uh, your support by not necessarily following us on social media, do you know what would also be amazing, guys? The race tracks for be uh, for uh, for the uh, guild hall decorations. All right, this is actually yes. the best rewards whatever uh, like of all time. That's crazy good. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it costs a lot of race points, but man, you're gonna have a lot of fun with that in your guild hall. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you donate them to me, I would be eternally grateful. Thank you. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, for coming, and uh, I believe that will uh, that will be it. Let us, uh, yeah, finally say good. Just thank you for coming, and uh, let's find someone to uh, throw the host love onto real quick before we leave for a second. Thanks everyone or for joining second. us, racers and arena for helping make this happen. Yes, thank you. Big, big, big thank you as well goes out to. Uh, ArenaNet for helping out, for helping and also out making the races. both with the yeah and making everything, <laughs> for helping out setting this whole thing up and uh, and supporting this event and all of these community run events. Let us jump over to Rom's Hut, guys. Let us raid another tournament. Let's do that. Join me, join me in overtaking. Rom's hot. Guys, I stream six days a week. Feel free to hit the follow button. I will be back actually tomorrow morning and the rest of the week, obviously, as I stream six days a week. So, thank you for coming. Uh, super appreciate it. Go say hi to Rom. Go spam his chat. He's going to be very appreciative of all the Beatles in this chat. And uh, I'll see you guys around. Thank you, Boos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.